Hey guys. So Alexander from the channel Alpha Destiny recently put out a video expressing his opinions on veganism. I've been watching his content for the past few years and he has very high quality stuff in the field of strength training. He also is spot on with his opinions on veganism pertaining to the domain of health. He is aware that a vegan diet is superior to a carnivorous diet. However, his views on the ethical side of things are a little less than sound. So firstly, I'd like to state that I'm fully supportive of the vegan movement. I think they are entirely correct when discussing the moral side of things. Animals are sentient beings who experience suffering. Yes, good so far. And I agree that the vegan movement would benefit the world in a major, major way. We can argue that it is the future in a sense. Uh, that said, I do have some minor disagreements uh, regarding veganism. And I suppose my first would be the ethical side of eating animals. Um, I agree that the industry is a corrupt, horrible, cruel thing, and uh, no one in their right mind should support it. It is very, very bad what they do to these animals. I agree with what he's saying. However, when someone says how cruel the industry is, I begin to get the sense that they're going to say the animal industry is only immoral because of the suffering animals endure, rather than the immoral practice itself. I agree, the industry is a horrible thing, but the classic... Old McDonald had a farm, I don't think is the same situation. If we lived in a different world where people had a farm and they had animals that they treated very nicely and they raised them properly, gave them lots of love. You know when you see the stereotypical farmer, Becky is cow, you know? When you have that type of situation and the animal grows old and you, you end up eating it eventually, I think that's justified. Yeah, my suspicion was correct. Alex. The idea of a happy cow on a free-range farm is less cruel than the current animal industry, but you need to realize that the actual act of killing an animal for food, when there are other options, is wrong. The fact that the animal lived a longer and happier life is completely irrelevant to whether or not it is justified to kill it. You would not accept me killing you as long as I ensured that you had a long and happy life before doing so. You cannot use the justification humane slaughter in the context of animals without naming a difference in traits of that animal that would justify killing you if the trait or set of traits were to be mapped onto you. The act of killing an animal when it is not needed is immoral. Now, whether or not the animal suffers or not is only a factor to take into account when measuring how immoral something is. It is not the only factor. You can still cause harm to something without making it suffer. I can hit you up with morphine and kill you. You won't suffer, but it will harm you. Because it did not experience much suffering throughout its life. It, it lived a great life, you know? That classic scenario, which I know doesn't really exist that much today, but... I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to eating animals, okay? I'm glad that you realize that the scenario doesn't really exist anymore. But I hope you come to realize that even the scenario of the happy cow is still immoral and should not be supported. Likewise, if there is a wild animal trying to kill you and you shoot it, you cook it, you eat it, I don't have an issue with that. Well, yeah, of course, if an animal is literally threatening your life, it's okay to defend yourself to whatever means necessary. Vegans don't believe in letting ourselves be killed by wild animals. <laughs> And if there is an overpopulation issue and you have two choices, either the animal is going to get hit by a truck or you shoot it yourself and you eat it, well, I think the second option is much better. No, you're wrong on that. Intentionally shooting an animal for reasons you wouldn't accept when applied to you is worse than not intentionally hitting an animal with your car. It was an accident and you would not be held morally accountable. And if you were really weird, you could eat the animal after you ran over it. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with the consumption of flesh, only with the means by which you obtain it. Right? We're not necessarily better, but it should be more justified in a sense. So those would be my only disagreements regarding the ethical side of things, but everything else, they're 100% correct. It is wrong. Animals are sentient beings. They experience suffering. And the industry is a horrible, horrible thing, and I don't want to support it. So I don't buy any, any animal products in this house. Those were the only few criticisms I had of what Alex said, for the most part he spot on. But his views on the happy cow and on which scenarios killing an animal is immoral are a bit flawed. Alex, if you're watching this, I absolutely have no hate for you. I'm actually a huge fan. Keep doing what you're doing and hopefully looking further into philosophy and veganism. If you ever want to have a chat, let me know. I would be glad to. 
that's all for today thanks for watching